guys, so today's video is going to be look number three using the Master Palette by Mario. And I wanted to do something a little bit more um, shimmery and neutral and sort of um, more pretty, I suppose. And this is just kind of showing you guys that you can use this eyeshadow to create really pretty looks as well. I did pair it with a dark lip, but I do discuss in the video different options for a different liner and how you can actually finish up this eye look and pair it with different lip looks. Super simple, it's using two eyeshadows and two brushes and it takes like no time at all. Alright, so to get started with this look, as you can see it's very very shiny and simple. You can leave it with just your plain eyelashes, um, which is more of an everyday kind of just neutral look. A liner, which would make it a little bit more dramatic. Um, it would pair really well with like a dark red lip. Do what I'm going to do and put on... Um, no liner, but just some lashes and like a dark lip. That's something that I really like to do with more of these light shimmery neutral looks. That's just an option if you're trying to figure out what you want to pair it with. Uh, okay, so for the brushes, I'm using just a very simple, flat, somewhat fluffy uh, shader eyeshadow brush. Just another sort of 217 sort of brush. I think this is a MAC 217. Yes, this is a MAC 217. I got a lovely airplane, guys, so I'm really sorry if you're hearing background noise. Okay, so the two eyeshadows that we're going to use, we're going to use this one right here, which is more of a pink champagne color. This one is called Marina. And we're going to darken the crease just a little bit with this one. This one is NYC, which is more of like a burgundy shimmer shade. If you wanted something a little bit more red, you could use Muse, which would be definitely more of a pink look. But this one kind of makes it a little bit more pinky neutral. Alright, so I'm just going to take that flat brush and I'm going to go into... Marina and just apply this, start applying it to the lid, taking sort of the corner of the brush, putting it right in the inner corner as well, and then just kind of taking that and lightly dusting it into the crease. So it is a shimmer shade, but you can put it all over, and I don't find it looks too bad when it gets put all over the lid. Some shimmery eyeshadows look horrific when you do it like that, but this one actually doesn't look too bad. Then what I like to do is I just dust off the brush so that there's not much product left. Very, very lightly take the remainder, remainder, <laughs> remainder, remainder of that eyeshadow and just use it to blend it up um, lightly onto the brow bone using that one shade for everything, basically. Okay, so then once that's done, very simple, one eyeshadow applied, took all of 30 seconds to do. Then I'm just going to take the 217, I'm going to pick up just a little bit of NYC. Now, this color out of all of them I find has the most kick up, and it actually has the most fallout. So really dust off your brush, and if you have to go in and do several layers very lightly to build up the color, it's better than if you were to go in with a whole lot of it, and then you'll have a ton of fallout on your face. So, so I'm just going to take that brush very lightly build it into the outer corner sort of the outer V if you will now this color is also a shimmer so it's very lightly going to add a little bit of dimension um, it won't be anything too dramatic and go in and add just a little bit more and then just take that flat brush that you used before and just blend everything out all right, then I'm going to take that brush that we applied NYC on, pick up a little bit more on the tip, dust it off, and this is going to go right underneath the eye. Just like that, and then just to intensify the inner corner, I'm going to take a little bit of Marina right on my finger and just dab that eyeshadow right in there. That's pretty much it for the eye. Very simple, very quick. Like you can do this in two minutes if you just like my art. So next I'm just going to do a coat of mascara. I'm using just Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. You guys know this is my mascara of a choice right now. It's kind of doing a baby layer since I'm going to be putting um, eyelashes on top. Although this one for some reason is not sticking in the inner corner so just ignore that. It happens. But yeah. Alright, so then for eyelashes, I'm going to be using this one right here. This is Siren from House of Lashes. Apply some House of Lashes eyelash glue, which is now like my favorite, even though I waited too long to stick the inner corner on, so this one's kind of fucked up, but... Okay, so then this is what the final eye look looks like. So you can see, very shimmery, just pretty. I think it's just 
pretty. Um, obviously you can use a little bit of the matte in there if you want, if you wanted more of a matte look with that, but this is just what I would have decided to do. Uh, shimmer on shimmer can be really pretty sometimes. Okay, so then for my face, as usual, I used CoverGirl CG Smoothers in Ivory, by the way, I'm realizing now is actually too dark for my face. <laughs> I used this when I was a little bit more accidentally tan in the summer. And I think I might have to start mixing white into this for like my winter skin. <laughs> my contour, as usual, shade light from Kat Von D. That middle shade, I'll show you guys what it is to this one right here. I really hope they make that as a separate eyeshadow. I think they're supposed to and I want it because it's like my contour shade. And then my blush is actually Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's one on my cheeks. Oh no, I put it on this side. I have not put it on this side yet. For highlighter, I think I'm actually going to do Becca, Becca Moonstone. I actually love using Becca products because I have like a good friend of mine named Becca and it just reminds me of her like every time I use it. So, <laughs> shout out to Becca. That's not Moonstone. That's not fucking Moonstone, that's Pearl. Why did I say Moonstone? I don't even own that. This is Becca Pearl. <laughs> it was like Moonstone. <laughs> Nope. Um, and then for lips, I want to do something that's going to complement sort of the pinky tones as well as bring out my eyes. This is ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Dr. M. Now, here's the thing. I really like the color of this, hate the formula, and it like doesn't really stay on my lips. So if you guys have like a dark green color like this, I know Kylie Jenner is coming out with one that's similar to this, as well as a couple other makeup brands have like a dark green. Um, try those because this is good if it's cheap and you're looking to kind of do it for photo shoots and stuff But it really doesn't it doesn't feel good and it crumbles for the sake of this and I like the color I'm gonna apply it just a heads up this this actual lipstick is not that good and it stains like horrifically Oh fuck. Yeah, see <laughs> Shit. Uh, okay, I think I saved it might have like a wonky lip line and that's fine. I don't care You can see like it literally dries as I'm applying it so it basically makes it like really clumpy. It gives you no time to move it around. So that is what Dr. M looks like on the lips. Beautiful shade, but I wish the formula was better because this is it like, like if I move my lips right now, it will crack and crumble. Yeah, like you can see it happening already. Like I put that on 30 seconds ago. Like I said, if you're doing like a really quick, really quick photo shoot, or if you want to just kind of test out this color, meh. But I don't recommend it, so anyway, it's a beautiful color, but not this. Like, not good. So that is my third look in the Master Palette by Mario uh, Wear This Palette for a Week Challenge. Um, something very simple, very pretty and easy. Yeah, I actually really like this look. This is something that I'd wear for like a night out, um, or like a classier event or I'd wear it to like a wedding, that kind of thing. That's something that I've noticed with this palette is it's actually really, really simple to use and it's very quick to use, which is something that I really appreciate because it's sort of a no thought, grab a couple eyeshadows, put them on, simple, easy. So let me know if you guys like this look and I will see you guys tomorrow for look number four. All right, have a good one. Peace.